It's unboxing time. Welcome back everybody and today we bring you Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD Final Chapter Prologue. That's a big title. But basically Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Limited Edition for the PlayStation 4. This is an exclusive uh, for the PlayStation 4 which is pretty cool. Kind of whack because I'm, you know, it's not for Xbox One and Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposed to be for Xbox One too, so it's a little weird that it's not coming out for both. But, anyways, we got it here. We've been waiting a long time. Let's open this baby up. All right. So from the front cover, it's pretty much a solid wallpaper background type of thing. You see uh, Mickey Mouse and a couple of Keyblades and some hearts. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like it. Um, this game, of course, was brought to us by Square Enix, and it is everyone 10 and older. It is for everyone 10 and older. Alright, so I'm just going to give you a 360 view of the box. That's what it looks like. On the side. On the top. On the right side. And on the bottom. Now let's take a look at the back. Uh, where it will basically tell us what to expect inside the limited edition. And it uh, doesn't look like to be a synopsis, but anyways, I'll, stop from the, I'll start from the top right. Okay, so Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD, remastered and on PlayStation for the first time. I guess they mean PlayStation 4 for the first time. Oh no, actually that's a 3DS game. No, that's true. Okay, Kingdom Hearts uh, Point 2 Birth of Sleep, a fragmentary uh, passage. Uh, that's a weird word. Uh, new adventure in the dark world. Over here it says Kingdom Hearts 10X. Back cover. New HD cinematic revealing a story untold. And right underneath that it says three magical experiences. The evolution Kingdom Hearts graphics. Official Disney collectible pin. Uh, two inch metal uh, enamel. Never released elsewhere. I wonder what that means. I wonder if that applies to these. Or is that its own thing that's going to be in the box. Really strange. But, um, okay, for the specs of the game, we got a one-player game, 30 gigabytes minimum, and a DualShock 4. And I'm pretty sure that this is the collectible pin that's inside. I can't wait to get a closer look. Let's open this baby up. Alright, nice. Okay, it doesn't look like it can open from the top, so we got a side entrance available. Nice, so once we look inside, we can see the pin deep in there, and it uh, looks like a standard copy of the game. Now, how do I get to that? You say I'll have to open it from the other side. So, it basically has a flap that holds it in place, and that's pretty much everything inside the box. So, we'll close this up real quick and put it towards the side. Alright, so we got the standard copy over here. Let's take a quick look at the pin. Um, doesn't look like it opens up easy. Oh, nice. I found a flap. So, I'm going to take it out of the plastic and lay it down so that you guys can take a good look at it. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. No, oh, that's pretty cool. I like how they did this. Nice. And the back, it just says contains pin, not suitable for children, under three years, blah, blah. I can't wait to wear it. Okay, now for the standard copy of the game. This is, I've already seen what the standard copy looks like, and this pretty much has the same exact cover. Um, so, you got the main character, you got all his associates. I don't know if these are enemies back here. And of course, more of his pals on the left. It's a pretty cool background. I like how they made it feel like that PS2, PS3 type of animation. It feels aged, but still new. Of course, this game was brought to us by Square Enix. We know that. The rating. All right. Let's take a look at the spine. Solid white background with all the names and logos. This game, of course, is a Y full copy game. And in the back, it pretty much says the same thing as it did over here on the box. So not much to read for you. Um, yeah, the reason why this game is E for everyone 10 and older. Fantasy, violence, and mild language. Nice. I'm glad I can just jump right in and see what's inside. <laughs> awesome. 
It really does look good to see these guys in HD though. Alrighty. So, as soon as we open it up. Awesome, we got the game on right. Got a couple pieces of paper. Looks to be like a pamphlet or a manual. Oh uh, yeah, it's more of a pamphlet. And some information behind the front cover art. So let's take a quick look at that first. Because it looks really basic. Yeah, we got some warnings. Some limited warranty information. And some contact info to Square Enix. That's about it. So let's slide that back in and take a look at that pamphlet. Alright, cool. So it, has, it looks like it has like the same background as the box. Which I like. Except the lettering is a little different color. I think I like this one better though. Okay. So as soon as we open it up, looks like we have um, a digital, I mean uh, a phone game coming out. Interesting. Mm, and then we move on. We have some advertisement for Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, looks like another um, advertisement for the game we just got. Weird. I am Satsuna. I actually don't know what that is. Probably a digital game that's coming out pretty soon on the PlayStation Network. Alright. And a World of Final Fantasy. Okay. That looks like it's uh, pretty much it. I'm not skipping anything. So, let's get a quick zoom in of the game disc. Alright, awesome. Guys, this pretty much wraps up the unboxing for... Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD, the final chapter and prologue for the PlayStation 4. Thank you guys as always for staying in tune with us popping games for our unboxings. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.